What if I told you that one investor beat the market for over 40 years straight? His proven methods allowed him to turn every $100 invested into over $54,000. Sound too good to be true? Well, these are the actual results of legendary investor John Templeton. In this video, you'll discover Templeton's timeless investment strategies that most professionals Finding still don't bargains understand. That would later reap huge returns. In 1992, he sold his financial... I'll share the specific techniques that allowed this investing wizard to identify opportunities early and consistently buy low and sell high. You'll learn how he made his name by buying neglected companies right before their stock prices exploded, how his forward-looking research into future trends allowed him to profit from innovations in genetics, healthcare, and computing decades before others, and why he invested globally early on, benefiting from booms in Japan, Australia, and beyond. If you want to turbocharge your investing returns using the same proven contrarian wisdom that made Templeton a fortune, this video is for you. Stick around as I reveal these powerful but simple methods you can apply to your own portfolio. You'll never look at investing the same way again. Number 1. The Contrarian Approach one of Templeton's signature strategies was investing in unloved, neglected, and deeply out-of-favor stocks right before their prices took off. He would look for companies trading at or near their 52-week lows, indicating pessimism and lack of interest. Then, he analyzed their fundamentals to find those with solid financials and growth prospects that were simply overlooked. As legendary investor Warren Buffett put it, Templeton could see value there when nobody else could. By purchasing when no one else wanted to and selling when the crowd turned optimistic, Templeton was able to ride these stocks as they reversed course and eventually rose 10 or even 100-fold in many cases. For example, in 1939, he purchased 100 shares of every stock trading under $1 on the New York Stock Exchange. Out of 104 companies, four went bankrupt, but the remaining 100 averaged over 500% returns within just four years. This highlights Templeton's skill at identifying diamonds in the rough during times of extreme pessimism. Even during downturns, there are always hidden opportunities in parts of the market that others are ignoring. Number two, look to the future. Another key to Templeton's success was his forward-looking research process to get in early on growth trends before others. He would study patents, academic publications, and discoveries to identify transformative new technologies and industries in their infancy with explosive growth ahead. In the early 1980s, Templeton saw the personal computing revolution coming well before most investors. He loaded up on Microsoft in 1986 at just $0.10 per share, turning a $10,000 investment into over $2 million by 2000. Similarly, he predicted the biotech boom of the 1990s by researching breakthroughs in genetics. He purchased Amgen in 1983 shortly after its IPO at $1 per share and held it all the way until $142 per share. Templeton believed in buying future growth stories early, allowing innovations to multiply his money over a decade or longer as industries took off. While others focused on current conditions, he had the foresight to look ahead. Number three, global diversification. Another differentiator for Templeton was his global perspective. He searched for promising stocks all over the world, not just in the U.S. This allowed him to capitalize on economic booms in Japan in the 1970s, Australia in the 1960s, and other regions where U.S. investors typically didn't look. Templeton was far ahead of his time, with globally diversified portfolios. For example, in the 1960s, over 90% of professionally managed funds were restricted to just U.S. stocks. Meanwhile, Templeton was busy buying up bargains across Europe, Asia, Latin America, and Australia. 
His flexible mandate allowed him to allocate capital wherever quality companies were undervalued. This worldwide opportunity allowed Templeton to avoid overpaying for mediocre investments in the U.S. His globally diversified funds outperformed comparable U.S. Only funds by over five percentage points annually for several decades. The takeaway is clear. Great bargains can arise anywhere, so investors should be willing to look beyond their own backyard. Number four, avoid the herd. As a true contrarian, Templeton felt most opportunities arose when investors lost perspective and flocked to the latest fad stocks without reasonable analysis of valuations. He avoided following the herd and conventional wisdom, believing that the most popular investments were likely overpriced. Some examples of manias he strategically sidestepped included the Nifty 50 bubble in the late 1960s, the Japanese asset bubble in the late 1980s, and the dot-com craze of the late 1990s. In each case, Templeton protected his investors' capital by diversifying away from overhyped stocks with unrealistic growth already priced in. While the masses chased unsustainable returns in trendy stocks, Templeton stuck to his disciplined, valuation-based approach. This allowed him to weather countless bubbles over his career while others lost their shirts. He once said, invest at the point of maximum pessimism because that is when quality assets are cheap. Going against the grain is never easy but ultimately pays off. Number five, maintain perspective. One of John Templeton's most important lessons for investors is maintaining a proper psychological perspective. When others were euphoric with greed near market peaks, he remained grounded and cautious. And when others were panicked and pessimistic near bottoms, he stayed calm and took advantage of bargains. Templeton avoided making emotional decisions, instead relying on preset valuation criteria to guide his actions. He taught that investors' worst enemies are fear and greed, leading them to make irrational choices. By focusing on facts over feelings, he avoided costly mistakes others made by letting emotions dictate their trades. His ability to zoom out and take a measured long-term view was invaluable. Templeton believed major opportunities arose every five to 10 years after significant bear markets washed out the excesses from previous manias. Maintaining perspective allowed him to capitalize when those chances emerged. Number six, innovation in mutual funds. In addition to his investment acumen, Templeton deserves credit for innovations that benefit all mutual fund investors to this day. In 1954, he created the Templeton Growth Fund, one of the first international mutual funds available to smaller U.S. investors. This gave the public access to global diversification for the first time. Templeton was also an early pioneer of socially responsible investing, avoiding industries like tobacco, gambling, and alcohol decades before ESG became a trend. And he donated generously, including endowing the Templeton Prize for progress toward research or discoveries about spiritual realities. Templeton proved that not only could investors do well with his strategies, but they could also do good. His integrity and generous philanthropy serve as examples of how the financial industry should operate. John Templeton's investing record is truly astounding. The Templeton Growth Fund averaged over 14% annual returns from 1954 to 1992, compared to just 11% for the S&P 500, despite having a more conservative portfolio allocation. That cumulative difference turns a $10,000 investment into $528,000 under Templeton's management rather than $198,000 with the index. While his timeless wisdom may seem simple on the surface, it takes discipline and foresight to execute successfully, as Templeton did. Very few investors possess the ability to tune out short-term noise, maintain perspective, 
and take advantage of points of maximum pessimism when profit opportunities arise. By implementing his proven techniques around contrarian investing, forward-looking research, global diversification, and avoiding the herd, you can significantly improve your odds of investment success. With patience and consistency, the lessons from legends like Templeton can compound your portfolio over the long run. Thanks for listening. If you found this video helpful, please like, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more investing content. Let me know in the comments which of Templeton's strategies you find most applicable to today's markets.